8 a.m. on Thursday local time from the number three building what appears to be white steam was seen rising continually and blowing to the east. The number three reactor building was massively damaged by an explosion on Monday and now the spent fuel rod storage pool is not being cooled. From the number four building what appears to be white steam arose occasionally from the southern part where the building is believed to be damaged. What appears to be steam also rose from the number two building. It's difficult to determine exactly where it came from, but it may be from the damaged west side of the building. A Tokyo police squad and its water cannon truck have arrived at the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They'll try spraying water from outside the quake-crippled nuclear reactor building to cool down its storage pool for nuclear fuel. Japan's self-defense force sent a helicopter on a Thursday morning to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to try to cool the number three reactor building. A government official says the operations will start soon. Let me give you this information once again. Tokyo Police Squad and its water cannon truck have arrived at their stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They'll try spraying water from outside the quake-crippled reactor building to cool down its storage pool for nuclear fuel. Japan's self-defense forces sent a helicopter on Thursday morning to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to try to cool the number three reactor building. And government officials says the operations will start soon. Tokyo Police Squad and its water cannon truck have arrived at the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to cool down. Please stay tuned for more news and updates from NHK Newsline. You're watching NHK World Newsline. I'm Yuka Altan in Tokyo. This is the footage from an NHK helicopter that shows what appears to be white steam rising from the number two, number three and number four reactor buildings. The, this footage was taken out after 8 a.m. on Thursday local time. From the number three building, white steam was seen rising continually and blowing to the east. The number three reactor building was massively damaged by an explosion on Monday and now the spent fuel rod storage pool is not being cooled. From the number four building, white steam rose occasionally from the southern part where the building is believed to be damaged. What appears to be steam also rose from the number two building. It's difficult to determine exactly where it came from, but it may be from the damaged west side of the building. A Tokyo police squad and its water cannon truck have arrived at their stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They'll try spraying water from outside the quake-crippled reactor building to cool down its storage pool for nuclear fuel. The task force says it is crucial to restore the cooling system as soon as possible to stop the radioactive leakage. An explosion occurred at the number four reactor building on Tuesday. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency cites a possible hydrogen explosion. The pool for spent nuclear fuel in the building is more likely to heat up since it contains a larger amount of rods than usual, a full bundle there. Work had previously been underway there to renovate the equipment for the reactor. A government task force dealing with the nuclear crisis says if these conditions should continue, few rods would likely be exposed above the water surface and be damaged. This could release a massive amount of radiation into the atmosphere. On Wednesday, white plumes were seen rising from near the number three reactor building at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company says water in a storage pool for spent fuel evaporated to form the vapor as a cooling system there has not been working since the quake. In the number five and number six reactor buildings, temperatures of the storage pools are also rising. The two reactors were not operating as scheduled. Inspections were taking place when the quake struck. The power company says these pools should also be cooled down to prevent them from developing into a serious problem. The next NHK World's reporter Yoshiki Yamasaki gives us in-depth analysis on the latest situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. And we'll now talk to our reporter uh, Yoshiki Yamasaki. And at the number three and four plants, 
the reactor buildings have already been damaged. Yes, that's right. This is the number three reactor. The walls are severely damaged, and the roof has been blown off in the explosion. And this is the number four reactor. Part of the side wall is remaining, but there is a very large hole. And the roof has been badly damaged. In the For the third and fourth reactors, hydrogen explosions took place, therefore the damage to the buildings. And as for why the explosions occurred, I would like to explain it using this diagram. Coming from the reactor, the power company also confirmed on Wednesday that there was still water in the pool at the number four reactor. The company also says that since the water dropping operation, it has observed almost the same levels of radiation at a point about 100 meters from the number three reactor building. Preparations are also being made to douse the number three reactor from the ground. Eleven large capacity fire trucks from SDF bases are heading to the site. A Tokyo police squad will also start spraying operation soon using a water cannon truck to cool the storage pool at the building. Well, Defense Minister Toshimi Kitazawa told a news conference that he expects the latest operation to cool the reactor to be successful. As you're already well aware, this morning, starting from 9.48 a.m. Japan Standard Time, the Self-Defense Forces Helicopter Squad have been deployed and have started aerial operations spraying water onto reactor number three. Thereafter, in total, there have been four such operations conducted by air. With the water being funneled into the spent fuel pool, we believe that it will help to cool down the fuel. Kitazawa said it would be best if they can repeat the operation as many times as possible, but will make his decision after considering the risks it poses to the health of his troops. And here is breaking news for you. The the government just says, says a large-scale power outage is expected this evening across Tokyo and the surrounding areas. It has ordered railway companies to reduce the number of trains in service. Once again, the government says a large-scale power outage is expected this evening across Tokyo and the surrounding areas. It has ordered railway companies to reduce the number of trains in service. We'll bring you more on this when we get information. Now, the U.S. military says one of its unmanned surveillance aircraft has captured images of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The collected data has been given to the Japanese government. According to the U.S. military, the Japanese government requested for information gathering with unmanned surveillance aircraft due to concern that long-term aerial photographing and filming of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant could affect the health of the workers. In response, the U.S. military offered Global Hawk unmanned surveillance aircraft to be deployed at Anderson Air Base in Guam for precise aerial photographing and filming of the damage to the nuclear power plant buildings. The information is being provided to the Japanese government. Global Hawk is widely used in military operations in Afghanistan and other places. The U.S. military has been already using the aircraft to grasp the situation of the disaster hit areas in Japan. Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of the stricken Fukushima Daiichi plant, says it will begin installing new power lines to restore the plant's cooling systems. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency announced this on Thursday. It said restoring power to the plant is next in importance to cooling the number three and number four spent fuel storage pools. Second priority is to restore power supply, and part of this operation is going to start this afternoon. Once we uh, get power supply, and then we'll be able to operate a cooling system using seawater. But the Tokyo Electric Power says the pumps were doused with seawater and need to be repaired. The power company 
uh, plans to use makeshift pumps to connect to the systems. Well, Fukushima Prefecture says levels of radiation that were